Good morning everyone. Today I feel inspired and less depressed despite the weather. Maybe the morning yoga I've been doing for a week now is finally paying off. So I decided to challenge my inner chef and finally give in to the FOMO I've been feeling these days and try making tiramisu and drum rolls. Dalgona coffee! Yay! Yes, I know, everyone and their mother is doing this lately, so I just said, why not? Let's follow a trend. Now about the tiramisu, this is another story. So when I was working in a restaurant, the tiramisu was on the menu, so I was helping in the kitchen, but I just made the coffee to dip the lady finger scene, and that's it. But you know what? There is always room for improvement, so I'm not going to give up. I'm just challenging my inner chef. I watched Ratatouille, yesterday so i feel even more inspired and confident and i think i can do it so without further ado let's go to the kitchen oh hello come here come here welcome to my kitchen today we are doing a tiramisu and the dalgona coffee for the tiramisu i'm following a specific recipe and it's from giallo zafferano page so for everyone is not Italian. Uh, don't trust any recipe that is not from Giacomo Zafirano or Benedetta. We don't trust them. We Italians don't trust any other. So for the recipe, you will need Savoyardi or Lady Fingers, Mascarpone and four eggs. There is actually no whipped cream included and yesterday when I was coming back from the grocery store my mother said oh did you miss the whipped cream? I was like what? No? Wait? What? But I checked the recipe and basically there is just no whipped cream. Oh! You also need sugar and then you need trusty whisks. So yeah, let's hope everything is going according to the recipe. So first thing first, I'm going to tie my hair with the tanwin. And also I just realized that I forgot to say the main ingredient. It's actually coffee. So that's what we are going to do now first. should be enough. I'm just gonna check the recipe because I don't remember. It literally says that we have to separate the red and the white first. I also forgot to mention that you actually need cocoa. So yeah, I am already forgetting all the ingredients, so I don't know how this is turning out. <laughs> and no idea. Red. Oops. White. Four eggs. Now, because we are off to a great start, <laughs> I already messed up. I was cracking the egg and a bit of the red went in the white bowl. I tried to separate as much as I could, but I have no idea at this point. I just hope it's going to be tasty at least. And also that the whites are going to be very firm and fluffy. <sighs> see, can you see a bit of the red? I don't know, I just don't know. On the brighter note, the first mocha. Is done. I made a mess in this kitchen. I made a mess in this kitchen and I just had to do two mochas. So I, I don't even know how I'm going to make the whites fluffy and good. I'm just gonna pretend nothing happened. So let's go. The second mocha is going and while I'm waiting I'm just going to do what I've always been scared to do, using whisks. According to the recipe we should separate the reds, add the hot with sugar and that should be it. Okay, let's go. I will try my best. I just realized I got the mascarpone wrong. I have literally half of the quantity. <laughs> I think we're just gonna make smaller tiramisu, like two portions at least. It's going to be a mess. 
So if I have half of the mascarpone meat, it means I have to do half the recipe for each ingredient. <sighs> Wish me luck. It changed color. I think the color is good. I think it's good. The recipe said, wait, hold on. He said it should be fluffy and light. And this is all I can see, honestly. Honestly, I'm shook. I'm surprised. Look at this. Look at this color. It's fluffy. It's nice. And then I have to add my half mascarpone one spoon at a time. Let's go. And hopefully it will taste nice. <sighs> okay. consistency see I think it's turning out good however remember when I said I should have made half of every ingredient I didn't because I thought my eggs were smaller compared to the ones that I use in this recipe I don't know I still think it's going to be good but I don't know we should now go with whites and see whites So I had to change the bowl because it was too short and small and my poor eggs were feeling clustered but now I think I did it I think I did it <laughs> I can't believe that I can't believe that So now we should put the reds and the mascarpone no, 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 no the whites and the sugar in the reds and mascarpone slowly with the spatula I know it should be done slowly but he said the first one has to be energetic so I'm gonna go slow the next time and from down up wherever Ooh. I think I nailed the downward upwards so let's see last so fluffy I mean, it looks. Ooh, ah! It looks good, so I will now try it. A bit cheesy, but not too much. Sweet enough. Mm, I think it will be right with the coffee because the coffee is without sugar, so it's bitter. I think it's not bad. I, I don't want to say it yet, but I think it's going to be a success. Just saying. Just saying. So we put everything here. According to the recipe, the first layer should be very thin. A thin layer of cream. Then the first layer of lady fingers. And then we start building our tiramisu. Let's go.
the first layer is done for some of you it might be like too thin <laughs> the actual layer too but the thing is i really like my tiramisu bitter that tastes like coffee instead of cream so i'm doing this on purpose i literally have half of this cream and i think it's going to be the top layer and i think it's going to be enough the thing i learned about this is that even if you have half mascarpone you can keep the ratio of the eggs the recipe was like four eggs and 500 grams of mascarpone and i had 250 grams of mascarpone and i just used that i mean i used what i had and you just have less cream so technically you can make a smaller portion i only have one pack of this i think i should have bought two of this if i had used 500 grams of mascarpone let's go with the second layer my lady fingers drenched with coffee for this side two mochas are enough it's basically gone and i i just finished so i was lucky i honestly cannot believe i was lucky enough to have my last lady finger to put here and that's my second layer and i have this much left and i think i'm gonna use another one just to do this please I put you, my baby, here. Let's go. Hello. Now onto the second layer of cream. that's enough for my taste it's definitely creamy but i'm not too overwhelmed by all this cream so i just need to add some cocoa powder Ooh. oops so this is why you should never talk why you don't look at what you're doing so now i made a mountain of cocoa powder whatever it's fine more the better Now we should just put this for a couple of hours in the fridge and then it's good to go. Okay, now we only have our Talgona coffee to make, which is pretty easy, you know, ratio is 1-1-1, one, one, one. one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of instant coffee, one tablespoon of hot water. So I don't have any American German things, so I'm just gonna use a regular spoon. It's a Korean spoon, so maybe not, not really a regular one. A regular spoon. I'm gonna mix everything. I will be using electric wicks because I've seen people doing this with a spoon, with a fork. I don't want to hurt my wrists for 30 minutes straight. No, no thank you. So I'm just gonna get into technology and use it as a tool. change the color and the color seems right just right i have to try it i guess so i'm gonna put oat milk because i think i would die with regular milk i have a pretty glass my glass straw that's right or that I had to make it a little bit more foamy but it's already starting to melt and I don't think it's, it's supposed to do like this but I don't care, I'm gonna taste it before mixing it with the straw Not bad! This is not bad at all! It's also very pretty! Let's try with the straw this is good it's really good i think this is 
a very nice fancy alternative to a regular cafe latte if you want to do it at home and still feel like you are not in your house and it's nothing special really i mean i mean i think it's just the way it is presented that makes it very special but taste wise it's just regular cafe latte i think a bit sweeter than the regular cafe latte but it is good so approved Now, we're going to see my tiramisu. It's been four hours in the fridge, so yeah, we're gonna get a taste of that too. I think it looks very nice. I'm gonna have my sister try it first and then we see. I, I don't know if she, if she will like it or not, but I think it's good. It looks good, at least. It looks good. Sei la mia cavia. Mmm! Buona! Approved! Sister approved! Buono! So the tiramisu was sister approved, which is a good thing, but I wanna see if. I like it. I mean, now I know it's good, but I wonder if what I thought, which is I want it to be more coffee flavor, more bitter than cheesy. I want to see if my ratio, my wrong ratio was in the end acceptable. So let's see. Oh, it looks very nice. It looks very professional. I like me. So let's see. Hopefully it is also very good. Lady fingers are getting very spongy. I don't know. amount of sugar but it tastes good and my so i learned a few things first if you put less mascarpone like literally half the taste is still good if you don't like cheese i don't like cheese i mean i don't like cheesy cheese <laughs> cheesy cheese so it's not very disturbing for me and this is something i only experience in restaurants where they didn't really do a very good tiramisu because they used more whipped cream than mascarpone but I, I can taste the difference i know it's not a well-made recipe it's just that you put more whipped cream than cheese but this one you have less mascarpone but everything else even the same amount of eggs it's very good and with dalgona coffee what i learned is that you really need ice because it just tastes better better with ice and it's very good with oat milk <laughs> that's all i can say so yeah it was a success now i'm gonna finish my tiramisu because i'm very proud and i'm very happy i'm gonna finish my dalgona coffee too i'm gonna make it again because i like it and it's very easy if you use the electric whisks it's not that much i mean i still had to whisk for about five minutes but i've heard people i've seen videos of people where they were using the four cord spoon they were going on for 30 minutes and i can really not do that my wrists cannot handle that so yeah gonna be definitely a hit for this summer i will link the recipe below the tiramisu recipe below and hope you like it and see you soon bye bye no, no.